Welcome back to the Shed Review. Today we're going to be reviewing this home care product called Smelly Sticks in a Jar. If you would have asked me four years ago about Smelly Sticks in a Jar, I would have told you you were crazy. But you know what? It's an epidemic. People are going out of their way to buy these things and I feel like they're being misled because the whole purpose is that they make your place smell nice. However, that's just not the case. I remember it so well. It was a cool April morning. I remember the cherry blossoms were just starting to bloom. It was really spectacular. The, the sunrise that day, and you could see the, the glistening dew on the grass. Uh, you could hear the birds chirping. It was such an ethereal moment. So me and my girlfriend, uh, she says to me, let's go down to the lake and let's go rent a kayak or two. Let's each get a kayak, why not? And I was thinking, you fucking genius, that is the best idea I've ever heard. So we get in her pickup, I sit in the back uh, just to guard the kayak. I remember my girlfriend said, she said to me, it, it, I couldn't believe how bright she was. She said, this is the best day more in toy life. And I said, you know what, you're absolutely right, of course it is. So we get in the kayaks and we start paddling out. We're just kayaking out, paddling, paddling, see a few bears, see a few salmon, go upstream a little, you know, the normal kayak stuff. So we're paddling along this tributary and we see this offshoot that goes into a storm drain. And my girlfriend says, let's go over there. That's going to be a real good time. And I said, yeah, that's going to be such a great time. Let's do it. So we're paddling along. We're getting closer and closer. I'm getting a little bit nervous because this is like so mysterious and stuff. But she's paddling along. I'm paddling along. Her paddle hits something. And she goes, what's this? So, you know, I paddle closer. I take a look. It was a dead body. So that was... Uh, now, believe it or not, that was actually only the second worst thing to happen that day. The worst was using the product I'm reviewing now. So apparently this thing is supposed to smell nice, but as you can see, it's not a very good delivery mechanism. So you got the stuff in there. That smells pretty good. The idea is, I don't know, the it goes up the sticks and then out. But I mean, the thing is this, this has lasted forever, but you can't smell anything from it. Sure, you can smell the sticks. The smell doesn't travel, okay? I can't smell it at all in here. All right, now, to be fair, I did light some incense earlier, but that does make any difference. Okay, on a scale of zero to 10 for scent distribution, I give this a one. You really need to be standing very close by um, to even catch a whiff of this thing. Uh, for design, you know, there's a lot to be said about this design. It is interesting, however, it's completely ineffective. But since we're talking purely about design from an aesthetic perspective, I'm gonna give this a solid four out of 10. Obviously, you might be wondering how heavy it is. I don't have a scales or anything, but it feels like about, uh, I would say 17 fluid ounces, just solid ounces. Overall, uh, out of 100, this gets maybe 12, maybe. I didn't do the maths on that one, but I don't need to because just don't buy one. Get a candle, get a Febreze, get anything. Even, even some deodorant will do more than this piece of shit. So thank you very much and I'll see you next time.